I hope you're all doing well. Before I get started on my project today, I wanted to give you an update on my channel and pretty much why I haven't been posting a lot lately. And that is because um, I'm pregnant and um, normally I would still post projects. Um, they just probably wouldn't be, you know, going up on a ladder and stuff like that. That might be dangerous. And I had planned to continue filming different projects I was doing, and I even had particular projects that I was saving towards, like, to actually to do at the um, later on in my pregnancy when um, I probably wouldn't be as mobile. But um, unfortunately, this pregnancy for me has been extremely painful and it's limited my mobility and I haven't really been able to do um, a lot of the the projects that I thought I would get to um, they, it's just not physically possible for me so um, that's why it's my postings have been very sporadic very spaced out um, and actually really easy projects which there's nothing wrong with that but um, nothing big nothing that um, is time consuming that I might be in a you know a certain position for a long period of time that is just really uncomfortable for me so um, so that's pretty much why I haven't been posting and um, at the same time I decided I was going to start a blog um, mainly because I knew like right before um, I have my baby and probably right after I could post like some really small things to that. Um, I don't know, a lot of times I like to put little bigger projects on YouTube um, for you all to see. So um, I have started my blog. You can go to it, but I will warn you, it is not pretty yet. It's in the stages of we're working on it, trying to make it look nice. I think I've posted maybe two things to it, so um, there there will be cosmetic changes going on to make it look uh, like a normal site <laughs> and not really, it's really kind of bare bones right now. But um, that website is beautifulhomestyle.com and um, beautiful being spelled the correct way instead of after my last name. So um, I didn't want it to be confusing, so it's beautifulhomestyle.com. So um, I hope you check that out, and um, in the future you'll see it updated and um, looking a little bit nicer. So um, with that out of the way, um, today I'm going to do a project where I am mounting some old newspaper articles and making art out of them um, and I've never done this before so we'll see how it goes and I will say that um, my newspaper articles I don't really care about so I'm not doing all the archival um, adhesive and backing and everything I'm just doing pretty much a uh, quick and easy way to do it so um, if you want to do this at home but you have newspaper articles that really mean a lot to you then don't use this method this is only for um, things that you don't mind that over time they are going to um, kind of disintegrate because that's kind of what the newspaper does anyway so um, mine are just kind of fun things I'm actually doing it as a present for my husband so um, they're not really articles that mean a lot to us personally. They're just something that I thought he would enjoy. So uh, let's go and get started. So these are the frames that I picked out. They're the Versarum frames from Ikea and I bought three of them. Um, and I've already started to take them apart. The nice thing with these is I didn't even realize until I got them home that these actually have like a piece of plastic um, not glass, so thank goodness because I don't know, it's so big I'm afraid I'd probably break it trying to maneuver. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is this is just the back where it has the you know the hook to mount it on the wall and I'm just going to flip it over and, um, and I'll show you let's 
See? See, I already bumped into the frame. I would have totally broken the glass. I don't know. I'm very, very klutzy at this point in my pregnancy. So um, I'll show you what I did so far on this one. Is that I just took paint and with a brush painted on here. Uh, if I would have had black spray paint, I probably, probably would have used that. It would have gone a little bit quicker, but I kind of like how, I don't know if it will show up, there you can kind of see little brush strokes and a little bit of the brown showing through, just a little, but um, I don't know. I think it adds to the whole, you know, old newspaper feel. It's kind of antique looking. So, um, and the reason that you want to make sure that you're mounting on black is that I'm going to adhere my newspaper with spray mount. And um, when you do that, if you mount it on something that's not dark, it might show the, um, the writing on the other side of the paper through. So you want to make sure that you have a black background, so then whatever's on the other side that you don't want to see, you're not going to see. So, I just have, I happen to have some satin black from a different project, and I just decided to use this. It's better than going out and buying something special, just that I'm only going to use a really little, a little bit of, so... And, um, oh, and here's my tip. I did one, and then I just stuck my brush in a baggie so I didn't have to wash it out, and it's ready to go for the next one. And, oh, and because there's a mat, I didn't go all the way to the edge because that's going to be covered up. So, all I do is get some, and then it's fairly easy to just go back and forth. Like I said, I didn't, I don't mind the streaks in it, so I kind of like them. While I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm going to go prepare my uh, mat for this one. Um, and the mat is a weird size in comparison to the paper. So, um, also part of the reason that um, the black background, where I was talking about the streaking normally, if you have a newspaper, you probably have a mat to fit nicely around it. Well, this big frame, the mat, was too short on the sides and too long. So um, I figured I don't really mind that. Um, it's going to show some of the black along the side, but I would like to cut the mat at the top and the, bo the bottom so that it's also showing some of the black. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to trim this mat a little bit. I cut my mat out now and I just uh, taped it to the backing and I put some little guidelines in pencil so I know um, exactly where inside here that I want to paste down my newspaper and um, at this point I'm just going to go outside with my spray mount adhesive and spray the back of this and hope for the best. And now I'm just positioning the paper at the bottom where I have my guideline and just kind of smoothing it out from the bottom to the top trying to work out any bubbles until it's all adhered. At this point I have everything mounted and I have the mat on which Actually, I should have done this step before I put on the mat, and that is um, spray mount works best if you are using it kind of in a, I guess in a little bit cooler weather, but it was probably in the 90s when I was doing this, so um, the spray mount kind of starts to adhere much quicker when it's warmer, so um, I do have like a little bit of bubbling because I didn't have as much time to work with it and manipulate it and humidity and heat will kind of make your project bubble up a little bit but what you can do is I like to put like some kind of barrier paper towel works good and then a low iron 
with no steam you don't want any any moisture and if you just go over it lightly it seems to do the trick um, it just kind of heats up the glue a little bit so you can start to manipulate it and actually get those bubbles out if um, if the temperature was warm when you were doing it and see I, actually, I don't know if you could see it but it is you know smoothing out the bubbles taking them away like I said this is just on the lowest setting and I'll just go over this whole thing and I am applying a pretty good amount of pressure and I'm trying to work outwards to get any of the bubbles to you know make their way to the ends and come out. Here's my finished product. Now I just need to do my other my other two and um, I'll have three framed pieces of art that just pretty much cost me the twenty two dollars for the frame. So the newspaper I didn't pay for. It's from 1969. And um, just spray mount and a little bit of leftover paint that I had. So nice cheap artwork, but um, I think it's really cool. So I hope you enjoy this, and I will see you next time. Bye. For the year, it has just become a huge mess. Like, really doesn't look nice. So um, I really wanted to tackle that.